everybody from Vista, California. Today we got a detail. It says 4Runner on there, but Mercedes GLC, the 4Runner is going to be next week. Here we got uh, the detailing skid. And I got a Nissan Frontier. That's what we're going to detail out of. If you're new here, my name is Noah. I've been an entrepreneur. I hate using that word because it's just such a cringe word now. I've been self-employed for a really long time. The point of this channel is to document my journey. And what I mean by document my journey is the odyssey of one's life. If you look at the definition of odyssey, I'll put it right here on the video. One of the things that I do is uh, on this channel, I document my journey, the series of events in my life. So when I say document my journey, I'm talking about document my odyssey. And a word that I want to now implement into the brand, especially as I go forward in detailing and the RV industry, because this is all new, the RV space, you guys will see more of that. Um, there's a lot of people that are needed. And one of the things that I believe in is documenting my journey, documenting the odyssey of my life. And whenever I'm detailing or I'm on the road and I'm eventually gonna be helping people who have RVs or campers, trailers, there's gonna be a lot of series of events that happen on your camping trip. That odyssey, right? It's kind of a fun, fun word. I like saying it, but that in itself is why I'm gonna start using the word odyssey. That's gonna be put into the brand because we've been documenting the journey. Uh, but I really don't like that phrase because uh, it's not all about me. This is about everyone's life. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to clean some cars, make people happy when they use their car because their car is gonna be clean. I'm here to fix people's air conditioners in the hot desert sun once I start working on RVs. I wanna document the odyssey. So if you guys understand what I'm saying, and you, you see what I'm getting at here, I'm gonna be helping people with their odysseys, right? Their series of events for these campers. Because we all know they're not built very well and they need repairs. There just happens to be like four of them right next to me. Uh, but no, today we're gonna be detailing in January, I'm actually going to school for, for RV certifications. I'm gonna to go to the NRVTA in Athens, Texas. Getting back to the point, today's details should be pretty simple. Uh, this came from stopping at a gas station and I handed a pretty lady my business card because I saw she had a pretty dirty Mercedes and it happened to be her neighbors. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. We're gonna be going towards the beach so it won't be too hot today. And uh, we were gonna do two vehicles originally. I quoted 400 for both, a little bit on the cheaper side, but I'm really trying to make today business and I don't have any revolving clients yet, except for two people. But I've got two revolving clients and I started this a week ago with my buddy. We started JNPC Detail, not to make it confusing, but that's just us two. He's a photographer, I'm the detailer. So what we do is we have a detail and photo shoot package that's JNPC detail. Whenever we do something together, whenever I do something alone, it's gonna be Odyssey detailing. Whenever I do something RVs, it's gonna be Odyssey mobile RV repair. And that's gonna have a separate channel. But as far as my channel goes, I know I posted a link for another channel the other day for mobile detailing. I'm gonna to continue to post detailing on the channel for sure, uh, but it's just gonna be under Odyssey mobile detailing. Because Odyssey, is a series of events, whether positive, negative, documenting the journey, just like we talked about in the beginning. And a little bit about me, I'm 24. I've always enjoyed detailing cars, been a car enthusiast. I've always been interested in business, real estate, and that's really what my life is about. I wanna do business. I wanna buy more real estate. So that's what this channel is about. I'm documenting my journey documenting my odyssey my series of events he sends to you and you want to stick around great if not enjoy the video i just want you guys to take something positive from it whether it be my attitude the motivation whatever man just the only reason i put this stuff out is because i know there's other people in the same spot there's other people who are still grinding just to make money today because they have a goal later on and i got one i have a goal and uh i have to make money today I have nothing else besides this detail. So after I go on this detail, I'm gonna go and find other details and show you guys how I do that. It's really just door knocking. It's super simple. Just do it. It's, it's not hard. Uh, there is some technique to it if you wanna be more effective, but I mean, I did pay for that knowledge, but I, I will give you guys some game for free. So how about that? If you think it's BS, 
I got this detail because I approached somebody at a gas station and it's really hard to approach somebody at a gas station and not be sketchy, okay? That's all I gotta say, that's, that's the proof. The proof's in the pudding. The pudding was at the gas station when I got this detail and I said I'd do two cars for 400 bucks and I got today business. Well, tomorrow business, it was yesterday. So, I gave her my business card, she called me, I scheduled an appointment, I collected her information, I sent her an appointment confirmation, and I set all the expectations up front, now we're gonna go to the detail, and then I'm gonna use this detail to then get more business afterwards. And so that's what I'm referring to. We can go over that, I can show you how I do it afterwards, it's really easy. I'll put you guys on game for free. I don't want you on YouTube, I don't want you to see my videos and watch my videos all day long. Go do something, go take action. Go get results, go get feedback, and let's go make money. All right, what we're gonna listen to today is some Audio Slave. Let's get it. All right, so we're about here. We got, you know, two more minutes. We are right on Coast Highway now. So if you guys don't know where we're at, we're in North County, San Diego. This is the Highway 101, the famous Highway 101. And this is the gas station that um, I actually met the lady at, so that's funny. She said she lived right up the road, so let's see. There's some very nice houses over here. And I got the gate code already, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys after I get in here. Okay, now we're here. I'm going to wait for her to respond. Uh, I don't wanna just enter her property without her. Uh, coming out here first. So I parked the truck in the most convenient area. There are a lot of garages, so I may have to move if I'm not quick. Uh, but since you got my wash buckets here, I've got my clean towels, interior stuff in the second drawer and everything for the wheels in the bottom. Um, I would highly recommend not using an extension cord. Um, it's a pain in the butt, but it was 40 bucks versus like 130. And I have my 100 foot reel in Texas. I don't have it with me. And then we got spotless water, some gas, we have a 100 foot uh, pressure washing hose. And in here, I just keep the concentrate chemicals and anything spare, you know, that I may need. And I have these small little bags for my, you know, dirty towels. But uh, essentially, it's kind of like a catch all for everything that does not fit in um, my container for my spray bottles or my plastic drawers. Let's see what this looks like. This is real primitive. I just kept the same container that I bought everything with. I would not go out and buy this same container. It's just kind of what we had. Um, but essentially, take this vacuum out. This is a really popular vacuum a lot of detailers use. And then we have, you know, a spare spray bottle. I have the, I forget the name of these things, but they're very cool. I'm not gonna take this stuff out because we're gonna start with the outside. I like to start with the wheels first. Uh, but essentially, yeah, I wanna make sure she's okay with me moving the car. Um, we got to move it right here and then it'll be very quick to wash it because I don't know the HOA rules and I imagine this pressure washer is going to echo pretty bad through here. We get the car moved out. I got some of the belongings in the back moved out. I typically communicate to that. Uh, I typically communicate that to the customer uh, just because I don't like touching personal items. There's where I set it and now we're going to start with the outside and work our way in. So one thing I like to do is keep track of when I start and when I stop. So I'm just gonna put 904 for now. So I remember I got here at 904 and this is how I'm gonna track how much per hour I actually make because what's trackable is repeatable and what's repeatable is scalable. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So 904 is when I start, it's 920 now. I just finished all the intro work, you know, moving belongings, communicating with the customer. And now we gotta do the exterior, which should take about an hour and a half. An hour if I move really fast. And then we got an interior, which will probably take me three hours or a little bit more. Okay, it's now 2.40 p.m. I'm all packed up, ready to drive away. Now we do the math and I undercharge myself. 200, divided by five, it's $40 an hour. That needs to be closer to 100. Um, 40 is okay. It's better than what I would be making if I was doing hard labor, but let's take a look. Well, I put it in the sun because the sun doesn't lie. I mean, it, they're starting to be shaded now, but it was bright on the car a second ago. So I was able to do the windows and windshield and make sure it all looks good. But uh, can't 
come out very clean. This paint was pretty neglected too. It's just super dusty and lots of bird poop, but came out great. If you guys haven't seen my earlier detailing videos, I'm still shampooing carpet the same way. The dry shampoo method. Look at it. These are the same results. I mean, they visually look the same. Did I hot water extract it? No, but I use brushes, super degreaser, all purpose cleaner, a microfiber. And what do you know? Customers are just as happy. And I didn't have to take a hot water extractor or buy a hot water extractor or put a bunch of water in the carpet just to suck it out. Nope, just a vacuum, all purpose cleaner, a couple brushes easy day so let's go ahead and unlock it leather is dressed this is a cool little Mercedes it's got the Burmester option but other than that it's honestly a little cheaply made I was a little surprised by how much flimsy plastics in this car the fact that there's basically plastic on this whole door panel but it looks nice I'm sure it drives fun like a German car all right let's go look at the driver's seat really quick so this is the part of the car that gets the most use and it is a female owner so there's a lot of makeup you see in the texture of the leather stuff is really hard to clean sometimes if you got a lot of built up grime same goes for the seats because they got that same um what do you want to call it just texture leather is just that way but when there's a lot of makeup it can get difficult overall looks great though i don't see any streaks it's a clean car What do you guys think? $40 an hour doing this, took me five hours. A $200 detail, put, put in the comments, what do you guys think? I wanna hear, especially uh, your thoughts on the shampooing method I use. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna show you guys how to get some clients now. Since you've completed the detail, it looks great. I'm gonna show you guys how to get more clients from your detail you just did. So what I always do is I go to Google. This is Google Maps. Go to your business profile. This is Odyssey RV Services because I'm Odyssey RV Services. Next year I will be, that's gonna be my main business. But my website's for detailing. I do Odyssey Mobile Detailing as well. So I have it linked to this business profile, but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting reviews on it already. So you're gonna scroll down. There's gonna be some tab saying, share your profile. You don't want to copy this all right go ahead and text it to your client that you just had and what you're going to do is at the minimum get a five-star review for the work you just did and to go a step further you know above and beyond get a video a testimonial have them record it or you record it with their phone with them in it talking about how happy they are with the work show the work and put that in the review Right now, the algorithm has changed and Google reviews loves videos, not just text. A lot of people can fake text, but you can't fake video. And a lot of people will watch the video and so Google rewards business profiles with videos in the reviews because it's a more legitimized business. There's video proof. So more people are gonna call you. It's gonna lead to more details being scheduled, which means more money in your pocket. What I was gonna do, if you see this building I'm in, was knock on the doors of everyone who lives here. That is a great way to get more business. That is how I've gotten clients almost every day I've been here and I, I didn't have a business profile set up for California. I mean, I'm just out here temporarily for a couple months until I go to RV school. So I need a way to make money it's on me. I got to find details and I got to do whatever it takes to find the details. Luckily, I've got uh, John 
If you haven't seen John, he's in some of my other videos. I'll link his YouTube down below. You can check out a couple of his videos. But uh, my dad's also here. But besides that, I really don't have a whole lot of connections. I didn't graduate high school here. I don't know everybody here. Although I am from Oceanside. Uh, but this is somebody I've never met. I just was at the gas station and, you know, I gave him a business card. That's just how it works. Um, just out trying to talk to as many people as possible. Because the more people you talk to, the more business you're going to make. Okay, so I just uh, talked with the owner for quite a bit. Asked her, you know, what she does for a living, what her husband does. Um, I just try to make general conversation. I let her know that anybody she refers me to, I'll treat them like gold. I'm not going to take for granted her recommendation and her referring me. Because if I did a bad job, it's her name on the line because she referred. You know, the guy with the red truck who was here the other day, who washed her black SUV. Got all these neighbors. She knows all these neighbors over here. So it's a good idea to do a good job. Reassure them that if they do refer you, you're gonna take care of whoever they refer you to. And yeah, really important. So we have her husband's car we're gonna be doing probably next week. Other than that, um, I'm gonna head back. If you guys like the video, if this video was helpful at all, if it helped you at all, if you learned one thing, leave me a like, leave me a comment, I don't care what it is. Tell me that I suck at detailing, I don't care. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll have some more videos coming out soon. And uh, until then, keep detailing, keep hustling. Keep going towards your goals. Live life. All right, peace, guys.